Jeff, welcome back to the show. Hmm. Well, hey, John. Well, this has been an amazing day. I I agree with you. This has actually been pretty cool. So, Jeff, I want to do a quick recap, and then I want to hear what you've learned from this session. We've learned about optimizing your data lakes with well-architected labs as well, multi-cloud strategies and how to make them successful, to be cloud or not to be cloud native. Hope you like that pun. Set up for success and infrastructure as code, GitOps, and open source, including monitoring tools. Jeff, what do you think? Well, what... What I took away was there's like so much amazing stuff happening in our field and it, it's really on us. We need to all the time. We need to be learning. We need to be doing. Um, we need to, as uh, Evan said, creating content and sharing. We, we've got all this just amazing power and capability at our fingertips, but it's on us to actually drive that. We're, we're not going to be ordered by our company to do it. it. It's up to us to make that happen. I agree with you. We had some really valuable sessions, not only to having successful keys to your uh, AWS environment and how to optimize it, but I did like the AWS skills, the community building infrastructure. Multi-cloud is always an interesting topic, and we can mm -hmm. we can we can talk about that in and out all the time, and the differentiation of using multi-cloud or being cloud native. Yeah, I, that was a, a tricky one for me because uh, I, I really identified with what David said about that. I think he said that it often happens by accident or by acquisition where there, there isn't any corporate initiative that says, OK, let's go multi-cloud. It's more that we you kind of put your arms around some new companies and you bring them in. It's like, well, you're using this cloud, you're using this one. Now we've got multiple clouds or, or we've got the... The, the famous shadow IT, which I, I think is actually one of my favorite things. Like shadow IT is, uh, to me, another phrase for early adopters making things happen in an organization. A lot of good stuff. I, 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 I love that he pointed out that complexity is such a challenge. He, he said, like, operational complexity will, will kill you. And then he had some awesome graphs. And he said, uh, I, I have this written down. He said that the, the tipping point of complexity can get you to the point where you get negative value, where you're you're spending so much time on your your overhead that you're actually maybe your initiative is is valid and ultimately worthwhile, but it's it's not really giving you the returns that you want. More time on operating than innovating. Exactly. Yeah. So Jeff, is there anything else you'd like to add to this? Because we got magic, we got raffle, and we got some swag stuff also to give away. Sure. You know, a couple more things. I, I love what Bernard said about the fact that he said, recognize you're running a factory, a software factory, and that you've got to actually not just think about the code, but you've really got to think about the process. And you've got this process and of, of all these different steps in our process, where are we spending our time? How can we actually... I mapped this out and find out where to, to streamline it. That was really, really cool. Um, really appreciated hearing from Evan. I, I've been following him on, on Twitter and LinkedIn for a long, long time. And I actually kind of thought there was like this like gigantic bureau of people all, all kind of pretending to be Evan, but it's good to see that he's like a real person and he's just like super productive and, and super, um, uh, he, he cranks out a lot of really interesting content. And the, the, I, I wrote down this phrase. He said, if you don't get the word out, it's like the tree falling in the forest. Nobody hears. I mean, yep. if we don't actually promote ourselves, then it's it's not anybody else's job to do that, right? Yep, It's all to do with like that content creation and always trying to educate. Uh, you and I had this discussion before, and this was actually probably a year or two ago. I found something out with a cool OBS tool, OB, uh, Video Ninja, and... I was like, oh my God, I had to create content right away. And you mentioned something to me, you're like, isn't that amazing how you find something out and you immediately want to share it with everybody and share how you did it? Exactly. And then I, I, another phrase that he said that really stuck out for me, he said, it's not who you know, it is who knows you. And I, I think if there's a, a shortcoming in our industry, maybe our tech culture, is there, there's this, almost this suspicion around promoting yourself as if it's something somehow like, a little bit like suspect or sleazy or something, and but nothing can be further from the truth. If again, you've got to do it. You're going to make some great content, and when you hear something quote went viral, that that ignores the fact that you need to like put that initial energy into it to to get get it to some critical mass. Where then after a lot of work on your part, it'll go viral. It's you don't create stuff and leave it laying around just hoping someone finds it and it'll it'll go viral you you've got to as you've got to believe in yourself and just actually do do your part first 
Yep. Constantly promoting the content and the stuff that you're providing the audience. And it's your name's just attached to it, but it's like the value that you're providing, the information that you're providing. And that's really key. Yeah. Um, yeah. He, he said, optimize, educate, share, inform, and train. And then think of your social media profile as your passport, right? That's going to be the the, the piece of content people will look at first to say, okay, who, who is this person? What, what do they know? What do they do? What are their interests? What are their passions? Who are they? Right. So yep. putting energy into your social media profile is, uh, is time well spent. I agree with you. I do want to put a plug in that we are doing a post reinvent optimize your AWS best because this was awesome to have these quick sessions informative and really get the information out. Jeff, anything else you'd like to add? You know, overall, I, I thought it was a great day and I just uh, re really enjoyed being a part of it.